Now, who could that be? SoapNet. Pure soap, 24-7. Is this why you got me up? What is this, push-ups at dawn? Uh, when I called you on the phone, you said you were up. Being up and being awake are two different things. It's on the stove. Is this yesterday's motor oil or is this really cold? Forget it, Mitch. We'll talk about it later. If I'm not mistaken, you're the one that called me and said it was urgent. Sorry, man. I didn't get much sleep last night. Looks two up. What's the matter? Well, it's just uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just Felicia. She's uh, she just hasn't been the same since Wally died. I'm sorry, Mitch. Is there anything I can do? No, she's gonna be okay. It's gonna take some time. She'll be better. What's up? Read the card. Sam, with love? Mom. Well, that's real nice. Mom sent you a gift, so? She didn't send it, Mitch. She brought it. Brought it? Guess who's in Bay City? Not till I know Donna's gonna be all right. Jamie! Jamie, you got the test results? Yes. Well, what about it? Is Donna gonna be okay? Is the baby gonna be all right? Donna's gonna be fine, Michael. Oh, thank God. You're sure not, Jamie? I mean, she's been unconscious all night. Well, she suffered some trauma from the fall. Look, she's not comatose, is she? No, no, no. She has some minor internal injury. She'll make a full recovery, no problem. Oh, great. Look, what about the baby? Well, we ran a sonogram, and the heart's still beating. Great. I mean, that's really good. But we found some blood behind the placenta. Well, what does that mean? It means the placenta may have started to separate from the uterus. Is that from the fall? From the abdominal trauma, yes. Well, what does that mean when it comes to the baby? Well, the sun is what keeps the baby alive. It brings in nourishment from Donna's body and filters away the uh, impurities from uh, the baby's body. If the placenta separates completely, it's... Well, it's called an abruptio placenta. This baby's not gonna die. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying there's a danger of it happening. Well, can't you do anything? Well, keep a close watch on her. She'll need absolute rest and no stress. Jamie, are you gonna... Are you gonna tell Donna about the baby? 
When I think she can take it. Michael, we're going to do all we can. I know, I know, I know. And thank you. Listen, I'll check back later, all right? Okay. Tell me, Mr. Hudson. I really, I, I don't want any calls right now. But you sir. want me to take it for you? Uh, yeah. Well, no, look, just tell whoever it is. Look, I can't think of anything outside of Donna's room right now. Oh, gosh. I just remembered. What? Oh, I told Felicia I'd do her talk show this morning. Look, why don't I just take your call and then I'll cancel with no, her? No, no, no. Why, why don't you go? The last thing on my mind is the fashion show, Michael. Nicole, Donna was very proud of you. She'd want you to be there. How can I sit there and talk about hemlines when Donna might... Well, I, you know what? Maybe seeing everybody around here would make Donna a little nervous. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you just let her go and then come back and tell her about it, okay? Okay. You insist. I do. All right. Have a good time. Everything's gonna be okay. You'll see. I know. I know. Thanks. Look, would you please tell whoever it is I don't want to talk to him, okay? But it's your daughter, sir, from California. So Marley? Yeah. Well, then I will. I'll take the call. What am I going to tell her? Mom's in Bay City? Yeah, she made her big entrance last night. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know she was going to be here till she showed up on my doorstep, Mitch. You didn't invite her to the wedding? No, I told you I wasn't going to. Well, how did Amanda is... invited her. Oh. She didn't think I was serious when I told her I didn't want Mom in Bay City. How is she? Well, she had Amanda charmed in about two seconds. But not you. Well, nobody knows her as good as I do. Except maybe you. Hey, you're not gonna, uh, open this? No, she can take it back to where she... got it. She used to always send Matthew presents. Yeah, well, she doesn't need to give me anything. You know that plane ticket must have cost her a fortune? Mind if I ask an obvious question? Go ahead. Where is she? She stayed at the Corey's last night. Are you serious? Hey, Amanda invited her. Just hope they locked up the silverware. What? Nothing. Look, what am I going to do, man? What? Are you, you're asking me? She can't come to the wedding, Mitch. Well, then just tell her. Oh, great. So I can't expect any help from you, huh? Look, it's not like she listens to me, you know? It's gonna cause a scene, Mitch. I know it. I would help you if I could, but it's not like, uh... I mean, look, you know how things are between us. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know which is worse, being the one she dotes on or being the one she blames for her failed career. Well, either way, it's not easy. Yeah. Well, look, so now you know about it. Look, don't let her get to you. And don't let her get in between you and Amanda. No. Look, you've got a good woman who loves you. Take care of her. So where are you going? I'm going home. To the woman who loves me. To Felicia. I didn't wake you, did I? Now that I do know. Actually... You must be Mac Corey. Yes, but how did you know? <laughs> I'm so pleased. Oh, I see the two of you have met. Uh, no, not quite yet. I heard you singing. Sam never told me that his mother had such a terrific singing voice. You're Sam's mother? Now, don't you go saying, I couldn't possibly have a son Sam's age. <laughs> I want to apologize to you for being so surprised to find you here. Oh, well, we came in late last night, and I didn't want to wake up you and Mom. Mm. Where is the lovely Mrs. Corey? Everybody is up. Hello. <gasps> Why, Amanda, you didn't tell me you had a sister. Uh, no, no, no. This is the lovely Mrs. Corey. Rachel, meet Sam's mother. <sighs> Your table at Tops is waiting. Saturday, starting at 1, SoapNet serving up another world. Bravo. Wet your appetite with Monday through Friday's episodes in a row. Make your reservation for another world. Saturday starting at 1. SoapNet. Pure soap 24-7. The new way to watch soaps. Yeah.
the entire world fell in love with the Lion King. So romantic! <laughs> now, you can fall in love with the other half of the story. Would you do me the honor of becoming my bride? <clears throat> On February 10th, the circle of life will never be the same. Sorry! You see Hakuna Matata? Hakuna Tamata? The Lion King one and a half. Get the whole story. All new on Disney DVD and video February 10th. This Saturday, make plans for big savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Save an extra 50% off already reduced pink ticketed fashion clearance for a total savings of 65 to 75% off. And save big on all treadmills and weight systems, TVs and digital cameras, mechanics tool sets and tool storage. And don't miss your chance to get 0% financing for one year or free delivery on all home appliances over $3.99. For one day only, find incredible savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Get more of the good life. When is a diet pill worth $153 a bottle? When you're more than 20 pounds overweight and tired of wasting money on one ordinary diet pill after another, and every diet plan has failed. Now there's Leptoprin. Specifically developed for the significantly overweight, backed by two United States patents, two published clinical trials, and an ironclad 100% money-back guarantee. Leptoprin is simply the most powerful, clinically proven weight control compound available, period. I've gone from 203 pounds down to 153 pounds. I went from a size 18 down to a size 7 dress. If you had told me that I would have dropped 50 pounds, I would never have believed it. And now look at me. If you're one of those people who constantly worry about five or six vanity pounds, Leptoprin is not for you. Leptoprin is much too expensive and much too powerful for the casual dieter. But if you're one of the millions of Americans who are 20, 30, 50 pounds or more overweight, you need Leptoprin. You don't have to be fat. Eight months ago, I wore these pants at 404 pounds. I've lost 147 pounds. I'm actually going to frame these pants and put them on my wall. I am. I'm currently down to 175. My husband was floored. He was amazed. So if you're significantly overweight, there's only one weight control compound developed specifically for you. It's Leptoprin. Leptoprin is guaranteed to work for you, or it costs you absolutely nothing. So when is a diet pill worth $153 a bottle? When it works, really works. Call toll-free 1-800-380-6113 to order your risk-free supply of Leptoprin. That's 1-800-380-6113 right now. It's like you're a new person. It's been an amazing journey. It works. What about the chef? What kind of a chef is he? Do you know? The producer's supposed to brief you on I that. I know, Hank. I just, I just don't know that I can handle all this myself. Maybe, maybe if you hired a new producer... Couldn't we just talk about the guests that are just coming on now, Fine. please? <clears throat> right. uh, here, here's your chef. All right. All right. Uh, he's probably French. Don't you think I can oh. handle that? And Nicole is talking about the fashion show. I know I can handle that. But there's this author. Uh, wait a minute. It's right here. Oh. Uh, nuclear relationship? Uh, according to my notes, it's, um, it's a book about the history of the uh, musical comedy. What? What are you talking about? Let me... You're right. You're right. I haven't read that book. I mean, Wally always briefed me on all of this stuff, and I, I, I'm not sure quite what I should do. What do you think I should do? Get a new producer? How many minutes till we tape, Hank? Ten. Ten? How am I supposed to read the history of musical theater in ten minutes? What do you want me to do? What? Take it easy. What, what do you think Wally would have, would have told you to do? Wing it. Wing it, I guess. Well, there you go. Okay. Listen, I know it's tough thinking about replacing Wally. I can handle this, Hank. Okay? Okay. okay. Ten minutes. Alicia? Yeah, in, in a minute, Nicole, all right? It's about my segment. Okay, honey, I'm putting you on first. N no. Nicole, please, honey. I have enough things on my mind right now to get through. All right? 
Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm not really feeling so crazy. I have a show to do here. I know, but and I've been thinking about it, to... and I just don't know if I could make it through it Nicole, today. Nicole, please, I'm sorry, don't but after do what this happened to, to Donna I... last night, what are you I talking... didn't sleep at all, and, and well, I'm wait, worried wait a about her. What about Donna? Well, didn't you hear? No. What's happened to Donna? How's Donna? Well, she's stable and sleeping. Is Michael in there with her? No, I don't know where he is. Oh, I got this for him, but you sure look like you could use a cup. Thank you very much. It's been a long night. And my bed is sure going to look so good. <laughs> Lisa going to be in it? I'm not counting on it. Mm. That's right. She told me she was working on the case with Adam. She told you that? Didn't you know? Yeah, yeah, I knew all about it. She's lucky you're not the jealous type. Why do you say that? Well, I saw her with that guy at Tom's. Yeah. She said it was an old friend, but I figured it was had something to do with the police department. Why? <laughs> because you don't kiss a, an old friend like that. Yeah. Listen, Vicky, don't you, uh... Want to go in and see Donna? Uh, no, I don't want to bother her. Vicki, you haven't seen her since she was brought in. I know. I know you resent her. No, Jamie, it's not that. We just haven't gotten along much in the past. Well, this could be your chance to make up for that. No, I doubt she'd want to see me. No, I think you're exactly what she needs. But it's up to you. Thanks for the coffee. I can't believe it. I know, I'm sorry. I, I thought that Mitch would have told you, or maybe you'd hear it on the news. I, uh, I haven't listened to the news this morning, and, and when Mitch called, I wasn't there. I, I am so sorry. Well, she's going to be all right. Jamie said that she'll be fine, but... Felicia, she may lose the baby. Oh, no. Look, I... I hope you understand. Oh, Cole, please. Of course I understand. I hope I didn't screw up your schedule no, no, or anything No, honey, like we can handle it. Believe me, you just, you just give Donna my love. Will you do that? I will. Okay, go on. All right, go. thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, Wally. Where are you when I really need you? We're ready for that tape for the fashion interview now. Well, you can roll it back, because it canceled it. Oh, great. Now what? What do I look like? I have a sign on my back that says, ask me anything, I know everything. I... Never mind, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, um, let's, uh, let's do the cooking segment. Why don't, we, why don't we roll in this kitchen cart, all right? I'm a cameraman. So? So my union doesn't let me handle props. Your union? Never mind, I can handle it myself. I wonder what Union Wally was in. He never let me down. All right. Everybody, we're doing the cooking segment, all right? Now, what do you suppose this stupid thing gets plugged in? Probably the, uh, the cord pluggers union, right? Right. Wally. Well, we're just delighted to have you. Well, I'm... Delighted to finally meet you, Rachel. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Oh, nonsense. You look absolutely glowing, doesn't she, Matt? I think Rachel always looks beautiful. Mm, and those legs. This dancer knows how much work that must take. Sam never told me you were a dancer. Well, you know boys. They always think of their mothers as mom. <laughs> Speaking of sons, how is yours? Matthew, I mean. Oh, he's fine. He's at boarding school. Oh, Amanda told me. Um, I'm so anxious to meet him. Um, I always enjoy his thank you notes so much. Oh. Well, 
He's always enjoyed the presents you've sent him on his birthday. Well, I am his grandmother. Uh, that word. <laughs> yes, let's not think about it. Well, if you don't mind, uh, no, excuse me. Of course. Me. I, 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 just talking about exercise makes me ravenous. Oh, well, breakfast will be soon in there. I know. I already saw it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I won't be long. Uh, do you want to freshen up or anything, Mrs. Fowler? Loretta. Loretta. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. <laughs> I love your family, Mac. Thank you, Loretta. Mm. I love them, too. <laughs> I, I, I feel ho at home already. <laughs> Isn't she incredible? Incredible. I'm going to go make sure she has everything she needs. Well, if she doesn't, I'm sure she'll get it. Home is where the heart is. Damn it, you little creep. Why don't you watch where you're going? Five hours of dysfunction. Dallas Dynasty and Knott's Landing. Every Saturday night starting at 7, only on SoapNet. This Saturday, make plans for big savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Save an extra 50% off already reduced pink ticketed fashion clearance for a total savings of 65 to 75% off. And save big on all treadmills and weight systems, TVs and digital cameras, mechanics tool sets and tool storage. And don't miss your chance to get 0% financing for one year or free delivery on all home appliances over $3.99. For one day only, find incredible savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Get more of the good life. Is your child reading at grade level? Now, no matter what age your child is, they can become a better reader with Hooked on Phonics. She felt that tingle inside, that I did it, I can do this. Your child's confidence will grow, and you'll be giving them every chance to succeed. After Ashley used Hooked on Phonics, she made the honor roll. Give your child the help they need. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-ABC-DEFG in the next 10 minutes to get your child started for $59.95 and find out about free shipping. Don't delay. Call now. When you struggle with credit card bills every month, you're not just in debt. Debt is all around you. I see people every day that are on the brink. They're going to go over the edge and at the bottom is a bankruptcy and we pull them back and they appreciate it. You do get to consolidate your payments. You don't have to worry about making one payment a month instead of making three, four, or five. The people who provide Care One Credit Counseling Services know how to help you get out of debt and get on with your life. Care One Debt Management Program, it is your path out. People are truly amazed when they call us and they see what we can do to help them. I mean, the relief in their voice is just, it makes the job worthwhile. And so my advice is don't struggle with it. Look for a solution today. Call us because we can do amazing things. Gather up your bills and talk to the people who can help, to the people who care. Call for Care One Credit Counseling today. Care One for you. Everybody needs something, and in 30 days, you can get the body you want at Valley Total Fitness. In just one month, you'll see results fast. Stop sucking it in or covering it up. Real change can happen in 30 days, and you'll want to show it off. Lose inches and pounds, gain muscle and strength. But you've got to get into Bally to feel it for yourself. And in 30 days, you'll see a difference. Right now is a great time to join Bally. Get started for as little as $19 down and $19 a month. You can't afford not to try it. Not happy after 30 days? We'll give you your money back. No other club makes that guarantee. Valley has everything you need to create your ideal workout program. Nutritional programs, motivating classes, personal trainers, and top-of-the-line equipment. Everybody needs something, and Valley has it all. Join now for as little as $19 down and $19 a month. Call Valley today. Call 1-800-230-0567. Oh, dear, look at that. Um, well, you know, you win some and you lose some, right? Oh, we're out of time, unfortunately. So, thank you for joining Breakfast with Felicia, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Bye. Bye. Uh, but but, but yeah. this is terrible. You are not going to use that on well, the air. I'm sure we can fix this in the edit, not to worry. Thank you very much. Excuse me. But how will you fix my How's career? Going? Don't ask. Listen. You have humiliated me. I am so you call sorry. yourself a professional amateur. <laughs> amateur. Uh, Mitch! How would you like to have your head in the souffle? Oh, no, Mitch. no. Mitch! Uh, these are you. I will be ruined. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you. Know, you know, I can take care of myself, thank you. What? What is this? What's with the rotten mood? I just found out about Donna. My show is, it is, has a million problems. I'm Nothing sorry. is going I'm right sorry. today. I know you, Miss Waller. <sighs> Nothing could be any worse now. But things aren't that bad, okay? It could be worse. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry. That's not what I was talking about. <sighs> What's the matter? What's wrong? Nothing. My mom's in town. You're kidding. You didn't tell me she was coming. Well, I didn't know that she was going to be here. She came here for Sam's wedding. Well, that's great. I, I should have her for dinner. No. No? Why not? Well, it's just I don't want to get into Mitch, it. Okay? come on. We should have her for dinner. What are you talking uh, about? Next segment, Felicia. Oh, great. 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 Uh, listen, you know anything about the history of musical theater? Nothing. You're a big help. I would like to be. Want to do the interview? Look, don't worry. You'll be terrific. Okay? Yeah, maybe you know something I don't. Well, I know that you're wonderfully intelligent. I know that you always come through in the clinch, and I know that I love you. So go have a good show. Okay. Oh, Miss, the chef really did deserve it. Okay, guys. Come on, let's put on a show. Sam never told me anything about your career. He never did like to brag. Sam? It sounds like your career's been very interesting. Well, I haven't had nearly the success you've had, Rachel. I've read so many wonderful things about your artwork. I'm very proud of her. And she must be proud of you. Imagine building an entire empire, publishing empire, all by himself. Well, not quite by myself. <laughs> the great ones are always modest, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been known to crow now and again. <laughs> and well, he should, a good-looking man like he is. You don't mind if I flirt with your husband, do you, Rachel? Never mind what she says. Do continue. <laughs> <laughs> Loretta, I've got to run some errands. Would you want to come with me? We can stop by Sam's later. Oh, yes, I'd love to. Well, could you join us, Rachel, dear? Oh, I'd love to, but I have an awful lot of work I have to do. I know. A wedding coming up. Very soon. <laughs> can I help you? Oh, anyway. no. Why don't you go off with Amanda if you like? Well, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely breakfast. You know... I was thinking, maybe we could stop by the Love Tower. The what? It's where Mitch lives. Oh, uh, of course. You haven't seen him yet. Uh, no. So what do you think? Would that be the first stop? Oh, well, we could surprise him. I'd uh, like that. You gonna be okay, Blackie? You and that baby. And then we're going to get to do what we missed out on with Marlene and Victoria, you and I. We're going to get to raise a child together. I love you, Blackie. She had a really rough night. Poor Mom. Dad, is she going to be all right? Mom? You're watching Another World. Poor Charles is back with a bang. Only on soap. 
This Saturday, make plans for big savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Save an extra 50% off already reduced pink ticketed fashion clearance for a total savings of 65 to 75% off. And save big on all treadmills and weight systems, TVs and digital cameras, mechanics tool sets and tool storage. And don't miss your chance to get 0% financing for one year or free delivery on all home appliances over $3.99. For one day only, find incredible savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Get more of the good life. When you leave here, you'll be lean, mean, computer-buying machines. I'll give you the skills, the smarts, and the courage. I do not have to settle for what's on the shelf. Your PC jargon has no effect on me. Ah! It won't be easy. Drop down and give me 50. Good, but you'll be able to buy a computer without getting ripped off and sit home crying to your mama. Want an easier way to buy a PC? Don't go there. Go Dell. Forget all the mega this and giga that. Just tell Dell what you want to do with your PC. They'll build one that fits your life and your budget. Like this Dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor. It's just $4.99 after mail-in rebate. And right now, for a limited time, pay no interest till 2005. Why don't you just quit? I still don't know how to format a hard drive. Your perfect PC, easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processor. My life is like a whirlwind. You have no idea how much I want to escape and get away some days. Sometimes from you. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a balanced life. Recharge my batteries. Press pause on life. Playtime. A special treat. A time out for me. For mommy. I subscribe to people and I want it there every week. It is something that you would run to the mailbox for. I am a people-holic. Yes, I'm addicted to people. I've come to really rely on opening my mailbox and seeing the colors. When she's reading the People magazine, I know not to bother her. Have fun delivered to your doorstep every week. Call now to subscribe and save big off the cover price. I think everyone can find something in People Magazine that they like. People Magazine is about success stories. It's about regular, everyday people. I love seeing the celebrity moms because I feel like, oh, they're in the same boat that I am. For me, it's the sexiest man a lot because I want to know what the competition is. I have to know what people are doing. I have to know who's with whom. What they're uh, wearing. Yeah. <laughs> the best and worst dress. You can go from front to back or back to front. And it doesn't matter because wherever you land, it's always good for you. Get 44 fabulous issues of People for only $2.19 an issue. That's over 33% off the cover price. Use your credit card and get another eight issues free. Eight free issues? Call now and you'll also get this super slim DVD player with remote control. Free with your paid subscription. You're kidding me! This is just so hard to believe that with one subscription, I'm going to get something that's great. This is a nice DVD player. Oh my god, it's great. Easy to set up. It plays DVDs, CDs, even MP3 music files through your TV set. The perfect way to get into the great stuff you read about in People. It's a great deal. I save money, get free issues, and a free DVD player. That is awesome. Treat yourself to People. Get eight free issues and a cool DVD player free. Call now. Victoria, you called down the mine. Dad, is she going to be okay? Yeah. Good. Honey, I can't tell you how long I've waited to hear you call her that. Well, I just couldn't before. It's been so awful. Hey, hey, come on. It's not important now. All she's been through and I've been so cruel. Victoria, it's all in the past. She's going to be fine. But the fall. Jamie said that she's going to pull through. And the baby? Well, I'm not sure, but it's okay for now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey. Hey. Look, you. I think you ought to go in there and talk to her. Now, you said that you wanted another chance. Here it is.
Simon should be in, in his apartment, but he's not. So maybe... <laughs> Who's that? Well, certainly were an exciting it's period. Felicia Gallant. Oh, a novelist, right. Felicia Gallant? Lerner and Lowe. It was a She's glorious. Mitch's fiancée. Well, what do you know? Not really. That's the point I make in my book. Ah, uh, you know, I really should be going. Would you mind if I, I just stayed and watched? The show is over, no. I'm no, not at all. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> Bravo. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're out of time. Oh. Mr. Rosen, it's been a real pleasure. Please come back. My pleasure. I certainly will. Good. All right, that's it with Breakfast with Felicia. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And we're out. Great. Oh, you were Ooh. wonderful. Well, thank you. Oh, yes, it was well. marvelous. Just thank you. marvelous. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> the memories you brought back, oh. guys and dolls, the most happy fellow. Well, well, you're obviously a musical fan. Right? Fan? Oh, I was a little bit more than that. What was it Ethel used to say? Ethel? Merman. Uh, it was when we were doing Annie Get Your Gun, or was it Gypsy? Anyway, it doesn't matter. No matter what she said, it was divine and loud. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Well, I'm Felicia Gallant. How do you do? Uh, I'm Loretta Kirkland. Loretta Kirkland, that's my stage name. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, so, you're obviously on the stage, no? On it? They couldn't get me off oh. it. <laughs> you know, I just love your voice. Oh, you are. Oh, you're okay. such a wonderful writer. Thank you. Don't you want to ride to the office with me, darling? I'm going in in a couple of hours, sweetie. What? Wedding stuff? Yes, I have to meet with the caterers. The Crawfords are coming. Agatha Crawford, double up on the canopies. I wonder if I should have let Loretta help me with all of this. Do you think that would be wise? Why not? Our guests may wonder if they're in a reception line or a chorus line. You don't like her? She's unbelievably charming. But? Well, she could have shown a little more interest in Matthew all these years. Mac, it's extraordinary that she's even talking to us. He gave Mitch a lot of trouble. Not as much as vice versa, Rachel. Anyway, Matthew is still a grandson. Speaking of Matthew... What is it? This is from him. It says that he's not coming to the wedding. Oh, oh well, that sounds like a job for a super mom. Bye, darling. Thanks. You have so much more tact than super pa. Sam, is my mom around? Oh, no. She's with Amanda, Sam. Your mother is extremely charming. I was so glad to meet her. I've got to rush to the office. Would you excuse me? Oh, Bye, sweetheart. Bye. I uh, really appreciate you letting her stay here. We're just delighted that she stayed. Well, I'll make sure she doesn't stay too long. Well, actually, I sent her a plane ticket that was open-ended, Sam. You sent her the plane ticket? Yes, didn't Mac tell you that? Now, why did you go and do that? On the Style Network, we do things a little differently. They have a complete stranger pick your new look. We have your sister-in-law, your best friend, and a stylist compete for the job. They get a professional to redo your room. We get your ex. They have a stylist offer suggestions. We have an expert judge and jury give you a fabulous makeover. The Style Network, where life gets a new look. I'm Finola Hughes. Watch How Do I Look? Right is at night, only on the Style Network. This is the first time I can remember feeling this good about my body. I went from a size 10 to a size 6 in just two months. It wasn't magic. It was this incredibly easy diet by Nutrisystem. It's called Nutrisystem Nourish. And with Nutrisystem, you don't have to give up almost anything. And it really works. Nutrisystem is smart. Only Nutrisystem is based on the glycemic index, a diet specially formulated to be rich in good carbs and low in fat, so you can burn more calories more effectively. With Nutrisystem, you don't have to give up eating great to lose weight. I love chocolate. So any diet that lets me eat chocolate every day is a diet for me. It's just too good. Nutrisystem is satisfying. With over 100 great-tasting meals and desserts to choose from, from hearty lasagna and zesty chicken to crunchy biscotti and creamy hot chocolate. So you can stay satisfied and lose weight without giving up the foods you love. Wow, now that's good. Order your 28-day Nutrisystem Nourish program and you'll get four full weeks of great-tasting meals and desserts for less than $10 a day. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert every day for almost a month. And every meal is totally prepared. It's so convenient. You can bring it with you anywhere, heat it up, and it's ready to eat. Nutrisystem is so easy. There's no counting, measuring, or guesswork. 
Just 100 great tasting meals that adapt to your lifestyle and go anywhere you go. Definitely the best thing about the program is I get to eat like five times a day and I'm never left feeling hungry. And Nutrisystem is a great value. There's never any sign-up or membership fees, ever. So now you can look great and lose weight at a price you can afford. Call now to get your 28-day Nutrisystem Nourish program, and you'll get four full weeks of great-tasting meals and desserts. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert every day for almost a month, all for less than $10 a day. Nutrisystem worked for me. Trust me, it will work for you. It's Nutrisystem Nourish. It's new, and it works. Get the skinny on Nutrisystem by calling 888-755-THIN. Imagine having it all. The Total Choice Premier Package from DirecTV delivers over 195 channels of our best programming, including all of our premium services, HBO, Stars, Showtime, Cinemax, and Sports Pack. Get more movies, more sports, and the maximum entertainment variety with Total Choice Premier. Call 1-800-DIRECTV and order today. Sometimes when the little guy doesn't know he's a little guy, he can do great big things. The odds were incredible. I can't see out there! He's blind in one eye. The dream was impossible. Everybody loses a couple, and you either pack up and you go home or you keep fighting. And the story is true. Don't stop, boy. Don't ever stop. Sea Biscuit. Only on Direct TV pay-per-view. Direct TV Freeview Series and Music Choice presents songwriting legend Rodney Crowell. Featuring songs from his new album, Fate's Right Hand, including the first single, Earthbound. Available free every weekend this month on Direct TV Channel 103. Look for Rodney Crowell's latest CD, Fate's Right Hand, available now. I'm sorry, was I out of line, Sam? I just wish that you and Amanda had talked to me first. Sam, don't you get along with your mother? We see things a lot differently. Is that so bad? Rachel, you just don't understand. Sam, I'm a mother. You have to remember that. Not like she is. Well, she did tell us a little bit about her life. Yeah, I'll bet she did. It sounds to me as though your upbringing was not exactly orthodox. Well, you could say that, yes. Yes, but it's obvious that she loves you, Sam. I guess so. Look, when she comes back, would you... Sam, parents aren't perfect. They make mistakes. You'll find that out when you have your own children. I am not going to make the same, mis same mistakes my mother did. No, you'll make different mistakes. Well, it seems like you did okay by your kids. Well, thank you. But I did make mistakes. Well, then, uh, I mean, when Amanda talks about you, she says nothing but good things about you. Well, that's because she's talking to you. We argue. I argue with my own mother. That's different. I'm just asking you to make allowances for your mother. You don't understand. I don't expect my mother to be perfect. What do you expect from your mother? Uh, Amanda can count on you. You can't count on your mother? She's done so many crazy things, you don't know her. No, you're right, I don't. I guess maybe I shouldn't interfere. Rachel... I understand what you're trying to do. Sam, and I... it's just that you and Amanda are about to be married and start your own family. When that all happened to me, I understood my own mother a lot better. I found I needed her. I don't think I'll ever be able to get along with my mother. Well, I think she'd like to try. How about you? Sometimes I wish she was like you. Just give her a chance. I wish it was that easy. Mm. Mm. So glad you're here. I'll do the talking, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll do the talking, remember? Been a real jerk. Mm. Oh, okay. Shh. I blamed you for everything that was wrong in my life. And that wasn't right. 
when I found out you, you were my mother, I was going to change everything. Make our relationship perfect. But it couldn't change because I didn't change. I had this great big chip on my shoulder. And I had to make that your fault. And I could justify that when I saw you with Uncle John. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. I'm the one who's sorry. Nobody's perfect. I'm sure not perfect. You tried. You tried so hard. And I just wouldn't forgive you. I was so scared. When I saw you with Uncle John, you, you thought, you thought I was going to leave you, Kent, didn't you? I couldn't bear that thought. Oh. You built up this great big wall. You want to be with me? I've never wanted anything else. I love you. I, I do. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom. Oh, oh Michael. Why don't you go get some rest? No, oh, I'm all right. Okay. No, but you've got a bullet player. Yeah, well, like they say in the movies, it's not really serious. Well, this isn't a movie. I wish it was a movie. I wish it was one of those Frank Capra movies where everything has a happy ending. Well, this will have a happy ending. Yeah. John is going to make it. And the baby. You know, I felt that baby kick. I never knew anything so small could have so much life. How'd the, uh, how'd the taping go? Oh, I couldn't do it. I had to be here. I, uh, I stopped by Reginald's room. He's, um, still unconscious. He's got all these tubes running out of him. Hey, Nicole, I know that he's your father in law uh... Yeah, I, I know that it's all his fault that this happened, but... Look, yes, he is still my father. I'm not the person you want to talk to about him, okay? You know, there are police guards outside of his room. It's because he's going to get put away if he recovers. It, because of last night? Nicole, you know the kind of life your father has led. Well, I obviously don't know as much as you do. Is that why he called you out to the house last night? Because of what you know? Yes. And he really wanted to kill you? Look, Nicole, he... He knew that Jason and I had enough evidence to put him away for a long, long time. Well, what, what kind of evidence? And why is Jason Freeman on it? Nicole, I, I really don't want to talk to you about it, okay? It just gets, it gets I'm sorry. too complicated. No, I'm sorry. I know. I, I'm sorry, Michael. I didn't mean to upset you. Um, is, is it all right to see Donna? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Vicky's in there right now. Why not? The last time I saw Donna, we had this big argument. Dad, she wants to see you now. Okay. Michael, can I see her for just a minute first? There's something I really have to tell her.
Only SoapNet can resurrect poor Charles next with back-to-back -back episodes. Then stick around for some down-home fun on Dallas. Four lives left in the hands of fate. Watch their stories unfold when SoapNet resurrects poor Charles' fate. Coming up next, only on SoapNet. Both Hallmark blushing bears for $6.95 when you buy three cards. Where? Only at Hallmark Gold Crown. Imagine what's in store. This Saturday, make plans for big savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Save an extra 50% off already reduced pink ticketed fashion clearance for a total savings of 65 to 75% off. And save big on all treadmills and weight systems, TVs and digital cameras, mechanics tool sets and tool storage. And don't miss your chance to get 0% financing for one year or free delivery on all home appliances over $3.99. For one day only, find incredible savings at the great Saturday sale at Sears. Get more of the good life. Comparison shopping for groceries is easy. But have you ever tried comparison shopping to lower your monthly bills? Like your mortgage? First, you have to decide who to call. Then you have to wait on hold to check rates. It's enough to make you see double. Fortunately, there's LowerYourBills.com. A better way to save on your mortgage, refi, home equity loan, and more. LowerYourBills.com is easy, fast, and free. Just go to LowerYourBills.com and answer a few simple questions. LowerYourBills.com will match you with up to four lenders so you can choose the best deal and maybe even get cash back. Interest rates won't be this low forever, so don't just sit there while everybody else saves. Go to LowerYourBills.com today and spend less on your mortgage and more on yourself. Get into it, Amanda. Okay. My mom and dad love her. Oh, great. You left her with your mom and your dad? No. I thought that she'd want to go over and see Mitch, so I... You took her to see Mitch? Oh, uh, yeah, but he wasn't home, and she wanted to stay at Tops when I took her up whoa, there, Whoa, so... wait a minute. Why does she want to stay at Tops? Because Felicia was shooting her show. She was shooting her sh... Oh, no. Come what? on, come on, come on! What? What did I do now? I played right into her hands. Come on! There I was, with David Merrick out front. So you auditioned for Dave Merrick? Oh, such a dear man. And I was in the middle of my song. All stops out. I mean, I really had them. And all of a sudden, there's this loud crash at the back of the theater. What was it? <sighs> Certain famous singer who was up for the same part had ordered food from 21 for all the casting people. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> oh, wasn't yeah. it? She'd even brought along a waiter. Well, when she heard me singing, she accidentally bumped into the waiter. He had this huge silver tray. Oh, bang! <laughs> Lobster Newberg all over the loge. Oh, that's so mean. <sighs> well, I managed to get through the song, but she'd made her point. So she obviously got the part. Yes, I was furious at the time. But when the show bombed out of town, <laughs> that star is now running a boarding house in Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, well, it serves her right. Yeah. So tell me, did you ever get even? Um, oh, you did. Well, What'd you do? I was young and impetuous at the yes, time. Yes, go on. <laughs> so, well, after the show had bombed, I was in Sardi's one night, and this person was sitting there, and there just happened to be a waiter with a tray full of drinks standing right behind her chair. So, oh, no, you didn't, <laughs> did you? Yes, you know that song, I'll Take Manhattan? I, she took about 
six right over the top of her head. <laughs> <laughs> I really got even so with her funny. <laughs> oh, oh that's the some stories I can tell. Oh, it's fascinating. Alicia, <laughs> really? Yes. If, uh, if we're only going to do the two segments today, then uh, I should let these people okay, go. Okay, okay, Hank. Sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. You know, maybe we could do three segments if Loretta would say yes. You mean you want to interview me? Well, you said you had a lot of stories you could tell. Well, oh, no, maybe one or two. <laughs> great, great. Okay, yes, go, go. I'll All be right. right. If you insist. I do. <laughs> All right. Makeup. Oh. I, I photograph better from this side. Oh, sure. Hi. Hi. I know you were expecting Michael. Oh, well, I didn't know you were here. Hey. Well, does sister leave a sister at a time like this? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Well, not my sister. Oh, yeah? Well, I haven't been such a hot sister lately. Oh, come on. That's not true. The fight we had over Mama. No, I... I just wish you'd just forget No, I, I, I keep thinking about what you said. You know, about Mama and Nicole, Jason Frame. Nicole, I, I shouldn't have said it. Well, I still don't think you were right. But I understand why you wanted to find out. I wish I hadn't. I know you loved Mama. No matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Hey, you're a lot like her, you know. Why, why did you say that? Because she was strong in a way that nobody understood. And so are you. Well, I, I certainly don't feel very strong right now. Well, Jamie says you're going to make a full recovery. And until you do, I don't want you to worry about Michael or Vicky, because I promise you I'm going to take good care of them. Nicole, the fashion show. Oh, Donna, don't you worry about that. Hey, I know that you want to talk to Michael, okay? All right. I love you. I love you, too. Let's see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. I never saw anybody look so good in a hospital gown. Michael. What? Michael, Nicole, she doesn't know what Father did, does she? No. I didn't oh, tell her. Good. I'm glad. I, I don't want you to. I, I don't want her to know what hey, he did, and I don't want hey, to know what, hey, what Mama hey, did. Donna, you handle getting well. I'll handle everything else, okay? Oh, uh, Victoria. Victoria. She... Now, Victoria is in the best shape that she's ever been in. Yeah. Now, this is a little something that I want to talk to you about, okay? Okay, what? Well, you remember when you told me that you thought that I was trying to change you, maybe mold you into somebody that you weren't? Well, I've been thinking that maybe you were right. Maybe I wanted you to be somebody that you're not. I don't know why I did it. I mean, it's not like I'm perfect or anything. Oh, oh, my God. No, no, wait a minute. Don't interrupt. I'm on a roll here, okay? I, uh, I just want you to know that I may be stubborn, and I may be inflexible. Bullheaded. Thanks. Mm. But you fell in love with me anyway, didn't you? So, even though I'm all those things, I fell in love with a woman who is beautiful and imaginative. And magical and magnetic. <laughs> and she's not perfect either. No. But I don't ever want her to change. Because, Donna, I love you just the way you are.
Their book spoke of time travel, vampires, and angels. And if you miss any of them, count on SoapNet to bring back poor Charles. Coming up next, revisit their stories with back-to-back -back episodes. Only on SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. You see Xander Smith.